What's up everybody on Charleston Car Video. Today we're here at Marchant Chevrolet out in the country and we're gonna be taking a look at the 2017 Chevy Colorado Z71 V6. We had a request on YouTube to do a walk around video on the Colorado and that's what we're doing. And stay tuned, we're gonna do our best to get you a night video in the future here. But today we'll go ahead and do a walk around during the daytime on the Colorado. And I picked this one because it's a little more loaded up and it's got some great features on it to look at. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop the camera from rolling and hop in on the truck and kind of do a little spin around in the parking lot here. All right, so we're on the inside of the Colorado. What a beautiful truck. I'm loving the size of it. Not too big, not too small. Kind of right there in it. They call it a crew short box, if that makes any sense to you. Here's our remote system for it. And, uh, you know, no push start button in here. You got your traditional place where you put a key in right there. And then we put our foot on the brake and crank her on up. Some nice little logos going on. Let's go ahead and uh, get the AC pumping because it's June 2017 and oh, it's already cutting on. It's hot outside, even though it's a little overcast today. It's still warm. Always gets a little warmer inside the car. Connected by OnStar's high speed 4G connection. Press the blue OnStar button to learn more. You know, I've said it before on a Corvette video I did. Her voice is really nice. I like her voice. I mean, it just makes me feel so comfortable hearing her talk. But when you hit the OnStar, I don't know if it's OnStar. One of the voices switches up from either the OnStar to the car, and her the other voice is just not pleasing at all. The other lady makes you want to somehow get in touch with her and take her on a date. But anyways, we're getting off the subject here. Hopefully you're getting a little laugh out of my commentary. Now how do I turn the fan speed down? Well, right here. Okay, not that I don't like the cool air, I just don't want it blowing on the microphone so much. And, but I'm going to turn up a little more than that because I'm sweating a little bit. Alright, so here's this pretty truck. Let's go ahead and put it in gear and just kind of cruise it through the parking lot. Before I do that, I'm going to get my seat adjustment over here. It's power seat. Go ahead and pull that up. Okay. Um, also, you got a tilt and telescoping steering wheel here. You can go up and down or out and in, which is cool. I'm pretty sure. Let's, yep, there's out and in and up and down. Okay. I don't like to say things that I don't know that are the facts. So I definitely want to make sure that. Okay, there's your backup camera right when we're getting in. Check that out. Oh, it just cut off because I put it in drive. Let's put it back in reverse for a second. There's our backup camera. Kind of a fisheye type lens. And uh, as I move the steering wheel, it moves the guidelines, which I always think is great. Um, I worked for Audi many years ago, and the Audis were the first brand that I knew of that did that with the... Uh, the guidelines there anyways okay so let's pull it out this again is v6 z71 which is nice i like the rear view mirrors nice and big uh, windshield's got some pretty pretty wide there there we go and let's take it on towards the back of the store see what's going on here mm -hmm. all right there we go. Let's drive right on back here. There's the old Chevy pickup truck. They do the lawn care business in. And we're going to take it back here in the grass. So, so far, it feels like a truck. You know, you can feel the little bumps and the movement and stuff like that. I mean, again, it's not a limousine. Okay, it's a truck. If you didn't feel the up and down and all that, you wouldn't feel like you're in a truck, right? Let's drive it over here and we'll get out and take a look at this pretty Colorado. Easy to drive though. I mean, seriously. I mean, the power steering, maybe it's electric steering. I'm not sure. This thing feels great though. Um, turning radius is doing pretty good. Let's see if we go in the bushes. Nope, we're all right. And then let's go over here. I just want to back it up, make sure we get a good thumbnail picture for the YouTube video today. And uh, backup camera's doing a good job for me. Keep on backing up, keep on backing up. Plenty of room back there in that pretty green grass. All right, now let's go ahead and hop out. Ugh. All right, so there's your thumbnail picture for the video today, everybody. Again, the Chevy Colorado 2017. Let's keep on looking at it. Now, again, I'm no Chevrolet expert. I have been filming Chevys, though, since 2011 out here in Ravenel. But, um, so I know a good bit about them. But, again, I don't quote myself to be an expert. 
spurt on these trucks what I can do is show it to you and it's looking pretty darn good I'm liking the headlights got your projectors there I don't see any LED stuff going on you got your fogs down in the bottom there um, the grills looking good the bow tie looks nice I like the Z71 badge so not bad there it's really a pretty truck. Now, we do know Ford has the Raptor coming out in 2018, supposedly. So, or not the Raptor, the Ranger, duh. And uh, the Ranger will be this truck's pretty much main competitor, other than like a Toyota Tacoma. And uh, Honda Ridgeline kind of is around this size, a little bit bigger, but just a totally different type vehicle. Um, you do have your alloy wheels there, your uh, Goodyear Wrangler tires. What size are our alloys? They're 17 inch with a 255 65 series tire. Let's look at the window sticker. 3.6 liter V6, of course, eight speed automatic. It's got a retail price of 33,615. 25 highway, 18 city, average combined 20 mile per gallon, okay? Uh, one thing I can tell you with Marchant Chevy, this right here is very important. No deal add-ons such as rust proofing, paint sealant, undercoating, closing dog fees, etc. Some items are used to mislead customers, giving more markup to selling dealer. Beware, have you ever been to a car store before and they got this other white sticker over here called an addendum. It's got all these added on dealer accessories and it added up to be like 15, two, 25, $3,000, somewhere in that range. They don't do that in Marchant Chevy. That that's a pain in the butt for customers, so I get it, okay? When you come to buy a vehicle, you don't come to buy one that's got all the accessories on it and then you're forced to pay for it or you're having to sit there and haggle with the sales guy to uh, get those taken off and then the car's back in the shop, you know, for two hours and then you're like, dang it, man, I've been at this car store all day long, right? That's when the car dealerships get bad reviews and they get customers get a bad taste in their mouth, okay? So uh, we don't do that here and thumbs up to Marchant Chevy and Ravenel Ford for being like that. So anyways, good looking truck, isn't it? Man, pretty. Really do like it. It's nice. Z71, that does not mean it's four-wheel drive. I don't believe this is a four-wheel drive truck. I like the V6 badge on the back. Looks good. Got a little gold or, or is that red? That's gold, gold in the V, which looks nice. Um, you got your tow package down there. This is how you put your crock right here, okay? And then step up into the back of the truck. It's already pretty low to the ground. I mean, it's not too jacked up and high in the air, which I'd like to see one lifted up if anybody's doing that out there. I'm sure they have. You still got your back window that opens and closes, and guess what I'm gonna say? So you can throw that Chocolate Lab puppy a bone, okay? Why do I say Chocolate Lab? Because I got a Chocolate Lab. Um, all right, on the interior, Power windows, power door locks, power mirrors, all that good stuff. You got nice cubby hole areas, a place to throw your water, power seat, okay? This is kind of a mix between cloth and leatherette, not real leather right here, okay? Just wanted to show you that. But it is pretty comfortable as you saw when we were just driving through. Let's take a look in the back. It's about as wide as that door is going to open right there. Only thing I'm not a fan of is this right here. I like it. Ford will do it where it puts it right here and pulls out because this takes away from resting your arm on a trip. I mean, I like to have my cups in a nice secure area so they don't flip down and hit me in the face or in the lap. But um, I like to still have my arm rest spot right there. For kids, that's fine, I think. But for adults, they need some room to put their arms right there. There's the back window. There's a little clip. Opens up. Pretty simple. No sunroof or anything like that on this particular model. I'm sure they have them that are even more loaded up than this. But that's pretty much, you know, your 2017 Colorado with V6. Let's get back in and take a look around. Drive it. Drive it back up front. All right. You know, people are so particular about trucks they want to buy or own. Uh, you know, they had a guy call this morning at the Ford store. He said, I don't want a Ford truck. I don't want a Chevy. I want a GMC. Well, sir, we don't have any GMCs on ground right now, sir. Well, that's what I want, and that's what I want. What's wrong with a Chevy Silverado? You know, what's wrong with a F-150? Anyways, I get it. Some people are Ford people. Some people are Chevy people. Some people are GMC people, but... I mean, God, right, don't have an attitude about it, you know? I mean, you know, we have what we have on ground. If you want a GMC, you may need to call the GMC dealer, you know? I, I really personally, I mean, I don't think there's that many differences from the GMC trucks 
to the Silverados. Other than the badges, maybe a little more uh, finesse with the, uh, you know, the body, I guess. Maybe a little more luxurious. I don't really know. Let me know in the comments. What do y'all think? What is it about a GMC truck that is just so much more different than a Chevy Silverado other than the badges on it? I mean, what is it? I'd like to know. I don't get the uh, pleasure of filming new GMC trucks because um, the dealers I work with don't have the GMC brand. But um, there's got to be some reason why some people just want to buy a GMC over a Chevy Silverado. And I'm sure GMC has got some, you know, something they do to make their GMC trucks a little more upscale than the Silverado. So anyways, back in this big old boy, uh, or it's not really a big truck. It's a good sized truck though, the Colorado. Backing it back in. Pretty easy to drive for the most part. If you'd like to see some of my Chevy Silverado walk around videos at Marchant Chevrolet, just subscribe to YouTube to my channel and, uh, and you can find them. Uh, just do a search right there in the Chevy playlist for Silverado and I have all kinds of Silverado videos. I did some reviews on the Rocky Ridge package trucks and um, a little bit of everything. So I don't play around with the trucks folks. When it's time to do a review on them, I do a review on them. Right now, I'm really testing out this backup camera, giving it a whirl. As you can see, I'm getting pretty close right there to that other, other one. And I think I'm gonna leave it right about right there. So anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you're interested in buying a Colorado, come on down to March at Chevy and do some business with them. We'll see you soon. And here's some of the other colors of Colorados we have on the ground. Blue, silver, gray, gray and of course black right over here so again thanks for watching looks like i left the lights on on the truck definitely have to hop in there and cut those off see you later guys appreciate it